Hey guys, it's Neil and welcome to the Hardcore Linux. Welcome to the third installment of ACL Blogs. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how do I pass my AWS Cloud Practitioner exam in within five days. Uh, okay, it's not actually in five days, it's in seven days, that's been one week, but the first two days I basically wabbling around myself to find whatever the resources I can find online for free. And at the end, it just end up being bad I guess so the first two days are completely wasted now in this video I'm gonna guide you through the process which I, I already go through so that you guys don't have any problem to pass this examination but first of all let's discuss why this exam is important we all know that AWS Cloud Practitioner is not an industrial standard certification right uh, that's a certification for more likely the IT solution experts the managers and uh, uh, more or less the non-technical persons have this AWS cloud certification um, for just to demonstrate they have got knowledge uh, that means a high level knowledge of AWS cloud architecture in software engineering we can say the AWS cloud practitioner is a zero level DFD of the whole system it will gonna give you a, a very high overview of the system but it's important because if you want to pursue for uh, much more complicated exams like now I'm studying for the cloud as so architect associate so uh, by passing the AWS cloud practitioner you're gonna gain confidence a lot of confidence plus you're gonna get a really high overview of the system and it is really important uh, when you are just gonna dig deep in those systems it's good to have a overview of the system that's why this exam is important in my point of view so uh, let's discuss the sources and why do I get my study materials uh, and what do I think helped me the most to pass this certification within five days so now I'm gonna leave my laptop for sure so just let me open up my laptop so here as you can see it will gonna be on this side or this side wherever I, I find the place to put it down um, that I first of all try with uh, this course over there the AWS Cloud Practitioner Training 2020 full course it's a four hour video and they cover 50 to 55% of the whole syllabus now it really didn't help me out uh, free code cam is uh, a great place to learn coding I don't want to say bad things about it but uh, particularly this course that, uh, really didn't help me plus um, creates tons of confusion in my mind and on the second thought I just go for this course and it's completely 8 hours and 15 minutes and the instructor is boring so yeah that's why I didn't complete that video but I think they deliver a really good amount of information in their video since they're free and available on YouTube but what I'm gonna recommend you and and I just want to be clarify that I am not promoting anything I just love the series that's why I'm gonna recommend it to you guys so yeah let me just go for the Udemy website okay so here is it and I want to show you guys that specific course on AWS cloud practitioner it's from Neil the instructor name is Neil Davis and I think he is an absolutely good instructor he knows what he is talking about he knows AWS and I like his course that much that I also purchased the AWS certified uh, associate architect course from this instructor as well so let us see the course material this guy provides so before starting you just uh, on the introduction part basically you just get a website which will gonna lead you to this website over there and there are two really many uh, important slides or PDFs I like to say one is the AWS uh, CPP course slides and the AWS CPP exam cram now let's open up those files and you can download it I would love to share it with, uh, with you guys but since Neil put a tons of effort on this course I really don't want to share this with you guys it seems really unfair but I'm gonna mail him that uh, could I do it or not and if he says so I'm gonna link it down in the description and let you guys know um, on a updated note so as you can see this is the exam cram slides or PDF file 
and it uh, and, and basically it's compressed the whole syllabus into some slides and no those are not 10 or 20 slides there will be far far more slides available but it will gonna help you for sure because reading those aws white papers uh, those are boring i know aws white papers are not the worst thing in the world in my opinion the worst thing in the world uh, should be as my thinking the um the java docs most probably the oracle java docs are best but their documentation sucks absolutely but this slide give you a more over complete idea that whatever else uh, you should study for your exam purpose now let's come to the ultimate cbb exam slides pdf and this is a pdf which will gonna contain each and every slide available uh, in that course and as for my studying practices goes i just watch the video and this slide is on another screen and that's basically my studying method for the examination purposes and now let's come to the next part where i really want to show you that uh, they have got their own practice exams and why they are important uh, in my opinion yeah there you go know, the, uh, in the section 19 i've got the full length practice exams and i'm gonna go for the practice exam one and as you can see um i scored 95 percent and sorry 96 percent in the ninth attempt let's see my first attempt and I do failed and those are the, I just skipped on the second good attempt I also failed and this is also being skipped and from the third attempt I started to being pass and with this course I really want to recommend you uh, the AWS cloud practitioner exam course it's got six exam papers I guess uh, let me just check it out so yeah as I said they have got six exam papers practice test and the most uh, interesting part in this exam test is that uh, you're gonna learn a tons of things by watching the video and by doing the practical stuff in the labs but these exams are really important since whenever you do fail just uh, let me go for my first attempt and i do pass on this exam on my first attempt but i do remember the sixth test was a nightmare for me and i really gonna think that i'll never gonna pass this exam because the sixth exam is hard enough for me so as you can see in the exam results i get i got 52 percent in my first attempt and i do correct 34 out of 65 but that's not, not uh, important in my point of view when i go for the review questions option then i'm gonna see that uh, the complete description of the answer like go for the first question your organization has offices around the world and some employees travel between offices how should their accounts be set up and the uh, correct answer will be AWS is a global service so nobody gives a f to it but in the explanation tab they explain it properly plus they provide the reference links and these reference links are really good they are basically the useful version of AWS white papers or AWS docs AWS docs by the way are not useless they are really useful but for the exam purpose I don't think you want to go for a 30 minute read on a white paper or, or on a aws um, guide whatever as you can see i just go for tons of wrong questions and i do learn from my mistakes because whenever i go for the wrong questions i go for the digital cloud training website and just read their blogs and basically it clears my doubt completely so yeah that's what i really want to share with you guys that uh, there are uh, really good courses available on Udemy specifically um, I take the course and I really enjoy it Now the important part is that basically uh, some of you guys might uh, view my videos the, You guys know that I have been in the IT field uh, for a reasonable time now and I do programming and Linux stuff So yeah, I got a reasonably fair IT background, but let me be clear. This exam is easy easy enough for um, pass anybody within a week um, anyways AWS uh, recommends you to have at least six months of AWS experience and uh, that's completely bullshit and uh, rubbish so at the end I just want to uh, end this video by summing some of the points that if you want to go for the AWS cloud practitioner exam you should have the overview of the AWS architect system if you're going to participate in the AWS cloud practitioner exam, you should have the level DFD or a really 
high level view of the complete AWS system like what are their services, um, what they are used for. As for the questions are concerned, uh, 70% of them are really easy and you need 70% to pass the exam. So 70% question are easy. 10% are really tough. Uh, the uh, one or two questions will gonna come beyond the scope um, for sure. But at the end of the day, if you study properly, if you got a really clear concept on the core services, you're gonna easily pass this exam. And then you can look forward to the next exams like AWS Associate Architect, Developer or Sysadmin whatever you like so yeah that's uh, it for this uh, video guys i just want to share my experience with uh, the courses i got on Udemy. and to be honest uh, i'm lucky that i didn't spend much time to rather uh, to go for the free services or just purchase another course because i really like that course and i hope you guys do if you guys purchase it now don't take my words for sure may uh, each and everybody have different flavors for the instructs uh, for the instructors and in my mind he is a uh, definitely good instructor a uh, more than good instructor because i do understand the core cool concept of aws from him so let's end this video now and it will gonna end our third blog on acl i hope you like this video guys if you guys do give this video a thumbs up share and do subscribe and always thanks a lot for watching it's Hardcore Linux signing off. Peace, guys.